Hey, welcome back to Chesterville. Um, done a couple of small things, uh, like fairly big things, but small in result. Uh, went, because uh, last time we were in the nether looking, we got that portal built. Uh, went back through and dug up a lot of sand, or uh, gravel. So, uh, I don't know what you have left, but I've got, uh, those are all dirt, so we have that much dirt in Skyblock that we aren't even using yet, plus whatever you have. One, two, uh, two full row, looking. rows plus... So we have lots of lots of dirt. Also figured out, like, way late, Four it steps. occurred to me that logically using Silk Touch on gravel should prevent these from happening, and it seems to be the case. I never really thought about it before, ever, in, you know, the last ten years. Um, <clears throat> so I've been kind of watching for uh, Silk Touch to put on a shovel. I do have a otherwise decent shovel. Because it would be, you know, ten times faster with something like this than with something like this to go through uh, grub. It also occurred to me that if we, and I'm out right, well, I've got 54 of them, but if we took uh, paper... And I think we have a bunch. But the simple version of this, if you take some paper <clears throat> and go uh, talk to uh, a villa, uh, librarian, um, he wants like 24 paper, right? So like, let me show you something. I have one emerald on me right now, right? Yeah, so if I go find a paper looking guy <clears throat> I can get. I'll just go ahead and use them up. Because the numbers are what count 24. Uh, so I'm up to. So I basically got 16 um, emeralds out of doing that. If I instead go somewhere that I know I can get that, because I'm complete, just. I'm not out. I can. I, Really could just get more, it doesn't matter very much. Whether I cannibalize the... Whether I deplete the... I don't know, it's almost like having a bank account that's almost out of money, but you have enough in there so you don't get late fees. So there's 54 of those. But if I just... Uh, oh, I think I may have swung too soon or I left the one hit zone. No, no I just left it. I swung too soon. So if I uh, instead compile stuff into books... However many I can actually get my hands on here. With, you know, the same paper. Well, three of them out of 24. Which So I, basically I can get eight books for the same paper I can get one emerald for is the point. You know, and I'll just I'll do this later. Or, I mean, I'll do this now, but I'll do this later. And I'll just, uh, I'll, I'll replace that at some point. I don't care right now. So with 60 books, and for all I care, I could go find the same guy. It shouldn't actually mean anything. I don't know if I will. Or... I don't... The way villages have to be done now, I don't have a way really to lock these guys down and prevent them from going. Like, maybe I could, because I get the impression that uh, the whole gossip element they could... One could, he could talk to him, who could talk to him, they don't have to necessarily be mobile at the same time. Who was that guy? I don't know if he was, well, it doesn't really matter. So, four books, so I've got, you know, 15 shots at this, I don't know if I'll get them all. 17, 29. So, and I, you know, books left over. Um, if I go ahead, and it's not perfect, because I didn't measure exactly how many sheets of paper I used in the first place. 32. So... I think it's an extra step, but I think there's a certain logic in uh, kind of doing the... It, for one thing, it's a good uh, failover, I guess. So, like, if I lock up a guy with paper and, you know, he moves to the next level and paper isn't really nudging him up much anymore, it's, it's something to be said for, uh, like, uh, getting, um... I don't know. <laughs> Getting more accomplished in less 
effort or something like that. Or, I don't know, call it what you want. It's, it's an option is what it is. It's something I can do. Uh, talk to just anyone who might want paper. Get that out of my way. Next, <clears throat> I've also been swatting at phantoms. I have basically decided that if I have 64 of these, I can't do anything with them. The See, it's a little weird because I'm I'm kind of going... We started this up on 114 that was designed for like 111. So the first thing we did that was strange was built a fishery over in the swamp here. Or no, the jungle. <coughs> to catch bamboo, and so of course that's had good results for us. Then I had to get a little, like, yeah, self-forgiving. Traded it because uh, we had spookies, wither skeletons, in 111. It was a thing. But um, there was no specific egg for them. If you wanted spookies from an egg, and how are you supposed to get an egg ordinarily? You would get, because um, he has eggs, but he doesn't have spooky eggs. It was just to use a skeleton egg in the right place in the nether. Uh, which, of course, is a, usually a fortress, and there isn't one because in 114 the flat world structures off nature prevented it from working. So, you know, do skeleton eggs in a fortress used to give us spookies. Now we don't have a fortress, and that's not the case, so I cheated in <coughs> an egg for spookies, and we have that in the nether after all. Um, there was another one like that. I mean, I'm not really creating anything that wasn't already in the game although when this map was made there was no way to have an egg for it uh <clears throat> also what used to be what was in the game in 111 i think i'm almost positive was uh elytra wings what we didn't have was this stuff um so obviously you know it, i think the map probably was supposed to have end cities but with structures turned off to prevent any villages out here in the void we didn't get any so i'm going to rationalize that we should have got wings in some and and the best thing i can think to turn in for it is probably this i also we i'm pretty sure we had shulkers in 111 it seems like it i decided that trading in end rods because those are kind of a hassle you have to make them through a few steps stack of those and we got a we got an egg for uh, um shulkers it i don't know i'm just kind of making it up as i go at this point because otherwise we're not really benefiting from the new stuff as much as i'd like to so what i want to do here is decide that if i give him 64 of these and he doesn't care because he doesn't know what the plan is yet i will get elytra back makes sense right So actually, why don't I just stash this here instead of throwing it away? And it doesn't really matter. I'm just thinking. Uh, and then what's going to happen is he's going to give me because I put him in his little box. I say a an, a pair of Elytra just once because yeah, there we are. And the reason I. The reason I figure these match up as logical is uh, if I use these up, you can't use them entirely up. They'll they'll never just... You can use these. This is my second diamond hoe, by the way. I banged out the first one. It won't just clang and disappear because then you wouldn't have it, I guess. Uh, what it will do is be useless and have one... You know, if this is 110, it'll be one out of however many. And then you repair it with like up to three membranes. I'm not going to have a break. I'm going to go up here and do something to it. Because, uh, I think there there are advantages to having wings, uh, even in Skyblock, where you'd think it would be the worst thing in the world. But I can show you what one of them is. Well, I mean, kind of. Uh, let me think what I want. I guess it's probably in here. I already have this made. Throw those in there. I don't think there's anything else, like you might be able to put some kind of armor protection stuff on this, but I don't think it's real important. Um, and then if I, just for the sake of argument, had a bunch of armor, actually that's probably stupid. Give me that and that and that, I don't care about the armor. Do want some things I don't have, because otherwise it's going to be a real short trip. 
I'm gonna want some, uh, some paper after all and some gunpowder which we should have some I'm trying to think is I just want one to one don't I I'm gonna get like nine things out of this by the way Is it the other way? Oh, it is. Okay, you know what? I don't. I know what I'm doing. Get out. Is it just this? Yeah, flight duration one. I'm good with that. I mean, I could go three, but I don't see the need. So make that happen, and just do it a couple more times to get this done. If I have room for it, and uh, get my compass where I know where it is because this should. Uh, you can see it swinging around because I'm pretty close to home right now. And yeah, what I'm thinking I want to try is going downstairs. You can just do your thing here if you want. Okay. Well, if you follow me, there's not going to be a lot of advantage. You'll just have to walk back. I'm going to go try something. This may be a disaster. I don't even know. I don't know what really could go wrong. Well, anything could go wrong. That's how things go wrong as they happen. Uh, yeah, so there's my little spooky thing. It's generating spookies out of us out of a spawner the spawner right well yeah the spawner you just trade in nemo fish give me probably that don't need a gasp right now just run because i do actually have to run a kilometer to get where i'm going in here um and then i gotta factor the uh i may fall to my death technically i'll show you well if it happens i'll explain you'll see what happened it won't be too mysterious the it's obvious. Whatever the... I have unbreaking on these. So that helps. Almost tenfold. I think it's something like almost ten to one unbreaking three. If something's going to break in ten you know, uses, it'll take a hundred or something like that. I don't know if it's, if it's exa exactly that. And it's fairly randomized. It's more like every time it could break, it decides whether it should based on uh, numbers, on fractions or something. But yeah, I just run through here. And this has all been here for a bit. So we're coming up on where the uh, fortress should have been and isn't because flat world. And we're still doing that because it's just always a long ways. Um, what are you doing? I was cleaning out the meat chest. Oh, okay. I cleaned out, I don't know, around a double box full of shards because they spilled over again. They're probably filling back in. Here's where the fortress should have been where the spawner for the blazes, which I also had to kind of cheat in, because <clears throat> otherwise we were done. There was no way to get blazes and, you know, never get to the end. And then we got to the end and there were no, uh, end cities, of course. Anyway, so here's where we've expanded. Uh, starting, I think, was there a, I should have left scaffolds behind if I did this. Maybe it wasn't here. Somewhere along this, I guess over here, you start seeing scaffolds. Yeah, there's one. That we were able to get up and down to get gravel off the ground. At, along with a 10% return rate of arrowheads I didn't ask for. There's still some gravel like right there. Probably a bit more that just wasn't visible from where we were at working. It's we've got enough and we can get more. I mean, the nether is still effectively infinite from this point. I think there is probably a nether far lands, but I don't think I've ever had the patience to look for it. You could teleport and see what happens. Um, go, run, 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 more, another scaffold, because this was, there's still gravel right there, in fact. Yeah, we tore up a hell of a lot of grit, it took hours, just more, get more, get, get more, it's just boring. Except for the part where there's the ever-present disappointment in getting a damned arrowhead, and then, of course, the relative danger of being in the nether and the gas are occasionally shooting and blowing up the gravel for us. That's fun. Uh, I'm probably going to have to eat before I'm going to run out of sprint pretty soon. And just go like this for a minute. Probably have to eat again before I get there. Certainly once I get there. Because in the air it's going to be a little harder to... It's not that you can't eat in the air. It's just there's a lot of weird juggling on 
the fireworks themselves, and it's just awkward. I don't think we did any... If there's if there's gravel here, I don't think we looked for it. Maybe. I don't know. I don't see scaffolding, though. This is not a cliff. Well, it is, but there's a staircase of sorts. Probably yet more gravel that I didn't see yet. <clears throat> and then, uh, here's our other portal that we walked through and got a little a bit of a cheve to, uh, no, that doesn't help me, to, uh, have gone, like, seven kilometers, oh, oh, that was a scaffold. I've got this colorblind thing, of course, so please leave the lava by leaving the damn, you're flying, you're trying to fly because you're an idiot. Don't die now, I'm busy. I'm, I'm still waiting to get hurt enough to eat food. Oh, I made up, I don't have them, well, I sort of have them on me. I made up a few golden carrots in anticipation of switching over to the... Okay, you leave the damn nether. You're bad at being in the nether, apparently. Get out there. <clears throat> and then here we are. Oh, this is going to be at night. That'll be fun. Actually, it might actually help because... Uh, then it'll be a little more evident as I'm coming in where I am. Is there any lag? Are we okay? 30, 29. Let's, uh, obviously home's that way because of compass. That's why I want that. There's nothing else. And then we're in planes here. It's all going to be planes, isn't it? Where is it? I seriously don't see where the hell I am. Planes. I don't know why. Things move around between versions and it's just aggravating. Uh, so let's go. Hopefully I don't just... My wings are on. Let's fly home. Which is, you know, really just going to be 8 kilometers because I'm out at 7,700, 76. Kind of want to watch altitude because otherwise I'm going to have that issue. I've been awake forever, so phantoms could be a thing. I just realized that. Actually, how long about have I been awake? Hmm. So, yeah, they, there they are. <laughs> Well, I killed a lot of you guys to get what I have. They're not going to actually hit me. They could, they really might. I guess I'm just uh, following the sun until it starts looping down behind me. Then I'll follow the moon. Where'd they go? Are we done with them? Yeah, so this is all planes. We know where that is now. It's just, there's nothing. We could build all the way out here and just always have planes and a lot of big... It'd take a long time, and I don't know if there'd be a massive benefit overall to it. But we do have the option. Hmm. Hmm. I don't want to go back for it now, but... Uh, it, it was... I was thinking about it, and one thing we could do is where I came out behind me by a kilometer or two now. Um, that might not be the worst place to build a relatively... Un, uh, really unbreakable, in fact. Uh you know, bedrock cabin kill chamber thing, and that's where we could do withers. Mm. It makes sense to me in part because you go into the nether and get the skulls by swatting at spookies. You wander through the nether and get soul sand because it's in the nether. And then come out of the cabin thing, assemble it, back the hell away for a minute, possibly fly the hell out. I'm trying to think. I'm pretty sure a wither can properly destroy... Can it destroy obsidian? It seems like it's got to be able to, because why else? Why you can just build a thing out of obsidian, and I don't. That's not what I usually hear people do about them. There's all these methods. You go into the top of the the upper levels of the Nether and build it upside down, and its head gets stuck in the ceiling bedrock, and that's all a good idea. But if it were as easy as using obsidian, I think that would be a lot simpler. I'm just really still flying here, and I'm, like, not halfway done yet. <laughs> just 
Oh, and then of course, as I get low on these, I can fix the part where I'm getting low on them. Phantom again, that's fun. You might want to be able to see where that is. It's somewhere, I'm sure of that. There it is. I don't really want to get into it with these things right now. It's just um, it's a bit of a fall if I'm wrong, you know, if I, can, if I don't get it right. So, head home still, 43, 44. What was the altitude? Oh, we're up here a ways. Oh, I was thinking it might be faster than this. It's just going to take a while. I got, what time is it? I got nine minutes left. Do you think that's enough to get home? Well, you know, we could always just stick around and have a dogfight with something. Maybe I should have gone with the three pulse, whatever. I, do they make you faster or just last longer? I don't, for that matter, does it make you faster to hit these more than once? Because, uh, let me get more or less lined up, so I'm going in a straight. 4,000... 3,900. 3, 8, no, it's about the same speed, I think. So that's, it's just about using them up. Well, so I got 35, 3,600 blocks to go. Well, and I gotta go a little diagonal to get that wandered off course by half a kilometer. Or something. I guess I'll just surge this every hundred meters and then it'll work. That's about as fast as I can reasonably get without just spamming and getting almost no improvement to speed. Twenty-nine... Eight... I have enough, I could almost just do it every fifty. Is that better? Yeah, it is. Because it's that last... Yeah, it's faster this way. Maybe every 75, but then you got to keep track of where you were. It's like 75, 150, 225, 300, 375. It's just annoying. Or I could do the really simple version and just hit it whenever it starts to slow down on the hit counter there. The uh, timer. Whatever the hell you call it, distance really. Seventeen, sixteen, fifteen, fourteen, thirteen, twelve. I'm oh, I'm the hell up here. I'm like gonna hit planes or something pretty soon. What did I just hit that was terrible? Oh, and this is, by the way, holding it. So, yeah, 432. I mean, I think that's probably... Well, it's still dropping, but it should be dropping at roughly 10 or 12% the speed. Otherwise, it would be, so... On the subject of dropping... Oh, I'm fine. Oh. I'm 700 meters above you. Ah. Regardless where else I am. It is time to... Oh, no, it's, it is time to... Uh, <laughs> bank to get home. Why? Okay. I'll run the phantoms real quick. Maybe they'll follow me and you can kill them when I get there. I I guess I'm just watching the compass at this point. That's not going to lie to me, I don't think. Oh, I'm home, by the way. Like somewhere down there. <laughs> now I gotta like circle in for a landing. The tower's gonna tell me... Uh, Establish have, a holding pattern. You may have to re-enter the atmosphere first. I, apparently. There we are. There's the village. That's where I am. I mean, I know. Hang on, wait. I'm gonna buzz the tower. Maverick! So, here we are. Where are you? Back at the village. Like in the village? Yeah. I was gonna empty out the, uh... Wool farm and the sunset. 
What, are you sleeping somewhere? No, I'm uh, just standing here. I, don't, I haven't seen you yet. Give me a hint. What side? Where the phantoms appear. All right, okay, I got it. Okay. So anyway, I've got wings now. Mm -hmm. Do you... I don't... I, that was all of my membranes. Do you want wings too? Because you're not great at flying. I'm not great at flying. I don't see a point to them here. Okay, so you're just killing phantoms because you're used to it now? I'm just ready to kill phantoms if they spawn. I'm waiting for the villagers to wake up so I can get rid of all this wool. Oh, let's go to bed. That's easy. Because, I mean, if you don't want wings, we're basically done caring. That we can just go back to never having phantoms happen. Hmm. That was your teleport command because the game cheated. It just suddenly did something that wasn't even possible. But I told you to put... I told you to copy it in mostly so you'd know where it was and you could walk back to it. But when that happened, it just seemed fair to teleport in. Um, I guess the only thing I really need to recharge right now is my wings. Because my armor wasn't off and the tools are all fine. What is that noise? I never did that. There's... We get monsters spawning in there somehow. Well, not somehow. It's on the dirt, but I don't, I'm not sure, apart from putting in a bunch of lights somewhere, how to fix that. Well, let me get some uh, monsters to... There's these, but, well, actually, I'm full enough. There's not a lot they can do. I'll just end up picking up some stuff, but whatever. Oh, I did put... Let me uh, show you what's <coughs> happening. I put... Uh, I was able to get Sweeping Edge crammed onto this thing. So I, I'm pretty sure I can kill more things at once. Uh, you know, technically. What did I... That's seriously all I had room to pick up from. That's cool. Uh, how are my wings at this... Oh, they're done. <laughs> I guess we're good. Um, okay. Well, let me go find a something. I'll make a, uh, I'll grab a, uh, a box so that I can plan ahead on something here. Give me, uh, blue, how about sky blue for flying around? And we'll just go, uh, set that there. Throw in these. Grab, uh, some of this stuff, whatever, it'll grow back. Grab, actually just give me, no, that's not even going to help. Give, make a bunch of these, and probably just quit them out of here because I can't pick them up yet. Oh, I think I just threw it. Whatever. Get off me. It's just awkward when you run that space. I'm not even sure what I'm going to end up with here, but I've got space for 27 of them plus whatever I might hang on to. That was a sort of stupid place to put that thing on. Um, yeah, on that topic, give me this for a sec. I've got the gunpowder, that's not the problem. <sighs> Do something. Resource management is the worst factor. I should hook up like a funnel or something to catch some of this stuff. Can I just... No. <sighs> okay. Oh, 
So basically, just give me. Uh, about this many. Okay, okay. And these go into here as much as they can. That goes back in there. This comes with me. That leaves me uh, almost two stacks of uh, rockets to have on me. And then I'll have a, a whole box of uh, more. This is probably too late to try to put back in the system, but we'll see. Oh, maybe not. I don't know. Um, Alright, so that's that. Oh, and then that just... I have that left over from doing stuff I didn't want to bother using diamond stuff on. So where's time now? We're done. Okay. Oh. <clears throat> Are you still in the village? Yep. Okay. So anyway. <clears throat> uh... Yeah, I don't know how practical it is to fly eight kilometers. I mean, we just did it. You saw the results. But it's it's a thing that could be done. And uh, it might come in handy here and there. You know, maybe in the end it would be a little more useful to fly around. And I don't know what we're going to do. Did you want wander away from me? Yeah, sorry. Okay. Anyway, we're out of time, so we'll, uh, I don't know. Next time, uh, do something else, something, I don't know. We probably could start thinking toward doing a wither, why the hell not? That'd be, uh, something that you've never... Have you ever killed a wither? Um... Come, come here, I just realized if I wave, I'm gonna punch someone, we're gonna have an issue. Okay. Alright, I'll abandon my box. Yep, do that. Um... Did I ever check whether, I don't know if I have any membranes stuck in here. Now we're good. What's why? I don't want time to do that again. Alright, so yeah, we'll come up with something to do next time. And uh, I'll see you then. So, okay, bye.